News and sport for the borders with Richard Gordon. Good afternoon. One death has been announced today of a Borders resident who'd been confirmed as having coronavirus within the previous 28 days. That means that under that measure, the total number since the pandemic first hit the Borders now stands at 106. Meanwhile, 23 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 were announced in the region this afternoon. The test positivity rate is 4.5%, which is below the World Health Organization's 5% threshold for controlling a pandemic. The rolling seven-day tally in the borders is 168, and the overall number of cases in the region now stands at 4,386. A convicted rapist has been warned he could face a life sentence for a catalogue of sex crimes in the borders. John Tunnicliffe used drink and drugs to prey on his vulnerable victims. Alistair Russell reports. The High Court in Edinburgh heard how John Tunnicliffe raped three women and sexually assaulted a man during a string of attacks carried out in the borders. He raped one victim when she was a teenager after driving her to a remote spot and supplying her with wine. More than 20 years later, he assaulted and raped her again after she developed a drug problem. Tunnicliffe also raped another woman and sexually assaulted a man at a house in Gallish Shields while they were under the influence of a substance. Advocate Deputy Stephen Borthwick described how Tunnicliffe targeted vulnerable people with whom he came into contact through his activities as a drug dealer. 56-year-old Tunnicliffe, formerly of Hawthorne Road in Gallish Shields, was convicted of four offences of rape and four of sexual assault. After the verdict, the court heard the Crown had a motion seeking a risk assessment on the repeat offender, which could lead to the imposition of an order for lifelong restriction. The judge called for a background report on Tunnicliffe at this stage and adjourned the case until next month. He was remanded in custody. Edinburgh-based Thunder and Townsend have been awarded the £700,000 contract to project and cost manage Edelston's new primary school. There's to be consultation this summer and work on the school's to start in the autumn of 2022. Scottish Borders Council has committed £9 million towards the project. A kitten that was rescued from Gallish Hill's waste processing plant by a council employee has been reunited with its rescuer and adopted by his family. Now named Tango, the kitten and two others spotted by driver Willie Hay amongst the contents of a skip were pulled to safety and the skip had originally been stationed at Dunn's Industrial Estate where it was used for discarded household items before it was transported to Gallish Hills to be processed. Willie looked after the kittens overnight and then handed them over to the Scottish SPCA in Edinburgh but he's kept in touch and has now been reunited with one of the litter for good. In last night's Lowland League football, Vale of Leithen went down 2-0 against Gretna at Victoria Park. Vale manager Chris Anderson admits it was a story of missed chances for his young team. Yeah, it was one that we kind of earmarked, you know, you know no disrespect to, to Gretna. They're, like, they're a good side, actually, um, um, but we're at home, so, you know, we earmarked it as a game we could compete with, and uh, we, di- we did that. We performed well. Uh, we competed in, the, in all aspects of the game, but... I think the difference was, you know, they've scored a fantastic goal. The boys, the boys put it in the top corner, and they, and we've had four or five chances that we've not managed to take. In these conferences, there was a heavy defeat for Hoyk Royal Albert United. They went down six 0 at Burnt Island Shipyard. Peoplesshire has three new British mountain bike champions following the National Cross Country Championships in Plymouth. Corin Carrick Anderson, who rides for the Timo team, triumphed in the junior men's race. Fellow People's High pupil Elena McGorham riding for People's Cycling Club won the women's junior title and Corrin's wee sister Emily claimed the female youth race. That completed a memorable hat-trick for Borders Mountain Biking. In racing, two Borders trainers were in winning form at Perth yesterday. Selkirk-based Stuart Coulter and jockey son Sam teamed up to land the two-mile handicap chase with 4-1 to chance Silken Moonlight. Meanwhile, James Yurt sent 4-3 from his Langham yard to head the two-mile handicap hurdle. In Ireland, hot jockey Tom Hamilton rode level, never-ending, to win a bumper at Galway last night.